You know, there's positives and negatives and all this thing. Uh, and, and, and I sat down with my wife when, you know, we talked about uh, this opportunity. Uh, obviously, um, in the NFL, when you're off season, it's off season. I spend a lot more time with my family. Now I have recruiting. You know, that's something. But that's, I think that's kind of minor. Um, I think one of the things that you have to do uh, differently is we don't have as much time with our players in college. Uh, and a lot of the things that we do in the NFL, you spend more time. I mean, we started our meetings at 7.30 in the morning with our players. And we went on the field at, at 10, uh, 10, 15, and then we met with them again after practice. That doesn't happen in college. So I think in terms of what you install, what you give your players, the amount of stuff you give your players, you have to be careful because you want them uh, to be able to function, to be able to play fast. Uh, and, and, and you can't do that if you have so much stuff to put in that they're overloaded. So I think that's probably the biggest change that, that I'll have to get used to. To answer your first question, I don't think there was any apprehension. Uh, when you have an opportunity to come to a great place like this uh, and coach football uh, in college at the highest level, uh, I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, so I don't think there was any apprehension on that part. Uh, the recruiting and all those things, uh, I, I'd like to think when I was uh, – in college, I was a pretty good recruiter, uh, and I don't think that will change. Uh, I'm going to recruit because I know, uh, as everybody knows, at any level, uh, players are the lifeblood of your program. And the better players you have, the better uh, chance you have to win. Do you have any yeah, I think uh, if you've watched uh, the defense in the past, uh, it, it, it has a lot of the underfront. Uh, and, and that's really nothing more than a 3-4. You just take the guy instead of him being in a 4-I, he's down at a 3. So uh, I, I think those type of players are what we're going to use and we'll be able to use. Uh, I think it's great, uh, especially coming to a great program uh, like the University of Florida. Uh, you get a chance of all your hard work to see you know, how it really shows out You know, when you're running your defense, doing your thing with your players. Uh, can you talk about uh, the team you plan to stuff? You know, we're going to do a lot of things that are player friendly. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things that will probably, uh, you know, kind of mesh in with what was done here before. We're not going to overhaul it. Uh, there's Charlie left a great defense in place, uh, a great scheme. Uh, and so to change just to change sometimes is, is not always good. Um, you know, we still have a, a, a few GA positions to fill. And I think that's going to determine how we're going to uh, go with our staff right now, um, you know, as as we go through the off season, when guys are working out and doing different things, uh, DJ, everybody knows he's going to be doing something with the linebackers. We don't know if it's going to be all or partial. And the same thing with Chuck. He's going to be working with the secondary. We don't know if it's going to be all or partial. So that'll be determined at a later date. What's your date. assessment of the position from the guys who are going to be returning? Well, uh, I'm still in the process of evaluating. So I'm not going to – I don't want to get into that right now. Uh, it wouldn't be fair to the guys that I've looked at because I haven't looked at all the tape. We're, we're up there grinding it out, uh, trying to get all those things done. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we'll have a – and me, personally, I have a better feel once we I get a chance to, to deal with the guys and we get through spring ball as we start working in spring ball and working together, then I have a really uh, – a much better feel for them. I think the biggest thing was uh, the foundation that's here at the University of Florida. Uh, obviously, uh, we know Urban's a, a tremendous – football coach, but I think uh, the big thing was the foundation of the program. And so I didn't have any hesitation to come at all. Uh, you know, the health issue is, is that's something that, that coach has, is going to take care of and he's going to do what's best for he and his family. Uh, I can't control that. What I can control is the, the opportunity, you know, to come into a situation that is stable, that is solid, uh, that recruits good student athletes. And, and that's the one thing I could control. And so that's what I looked at. Uh, to say what I want to do and, and what I can do are always two different things uh, because, like you said, it does depend on the personnel and, and, and what they can do because the one thing I did learn, uh, uh, and I learned it a long time ago, but it really becomes evident in the pros, is you better do what your personnel is good at. And I think, again, once I get into spring, once I get into it, then I'll determine more of what we're going to do. If we're going to press, if we're going to play off, if we're going to play more zone, more man, you know, that to me is all to be determined. And uh, to stand up here and tell you, that's what I like to do. I mean, in a perfect world, I mean, perfect world changes. And uh, just like the defense changes, the offense changes every week, we got to do things to adapt and be ready to, to, to do enough to win. You can ask this to the guy who was here for a few days before you. Um, there was talk he was going to. Yeah, I got to go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>